Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday the 14th of August where I just take one of our signals from our stocks membership area and set it up on a chart. So in our members area, our members get the opportunity to download potential long fifth wave trades and short fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame and also the stochastic longs and short trades on intraday. I'm going to look and be looking at longs. We did have a bit of a pullback yesterday with Turkey and all that sort of thing going off, but futures so far this morning and during the European morning uh, seems pretty positive. So I'm going to be looking for a long. So in the members area on the long fifth wave trades, members simply click on this image here and download the spreadsheet for today, which looks like this. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the spreadsheet, we've got the tabs for the weekly, the daily. I've concentrated on the six minute time frames. After a bit of a pullback yesterday, there are quite a lot of uh, potential longs on the six minute time frame setting up. So I've gone for one of those. So have a look on the chart. So I've gone for CARG on the six minute time frame. I'm using the Ninja Trader version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com. It's also available for TradeStation, MultiCharts and the Think or Swim trading platform. For those members that have already got our uh, Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, I've isolated the bar count way back here, down around about June the 28th. And as you can see there, our Elliott Wave Indicator is automatically labelled. Uh, the wave counts, the ABC corrections, and now the current trend that we're in. We've had a wave one, a two, a long wave three. Uh, we've had a big gap up on earnings, and then we've pulled back with some profit taking there. And now we are looking for a potential fifth wave trade. So some of the initial filters that we look at for this type of trade and that go into our scanner results for our membership. The first one is the wave four has pulled back against the main trend and entered one of our probability zones. These are green, amber, red. The green zone is an 85% probability. If we find that support in the green zone and starts to move away, we've got an 85% probability. It's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our, or into our automated target zones up here in blue. So let's just zoom in a little bit more there now. As you can see, over the last few days since the wave three high, we've had some profit taking. Not really big, uh, but we've pulled back and we seem to have found support yesterday. So the next filter we have on the scanner membership for our signals is the 535 oscillator. And this measures how the wave four is performing. The wave four is pulled back between 90 and 140% from the highest point on the oscillator of the wave three. You just see it's just tipped red there. It could go slightly further. So this is the sort of trade where we go conservative entry and we'll talk about that in a minute. And if it does keep going further down, we just make sure it doesn't break the 140. But at this moment in time, it's setting up really well with some good support yesterday. And then finally, the stochastic at the bottom here, we've got some yellow dots at the top of and the overbought zone. This denotes a really strong bullish trend. When the stochastic pulls back against that and crosses over in the oversold zone, the likelihood is it wants to return to the main bullish trend and get back to the overbought zone uh, so, and return to the main bullish trend. It's like an elastic band, if you like, it pulls back against that strong trend and it wants to return. So there's the three main filters and then we just need to look for a setup here. Now with the setup, we are reasonably conservative. This is a 60 minute time frame, got to be aware of gaps. Um, but also we want to make sure we've got a good trade here. So the first initial point on our indicator suite is we look for the 6-4 moving average high. We want to make sure we're above that for the first hour of this uh, today's session, which we will be with our entry at 52.56. I want to make sure I'm way above the high of yesterday, that big uh, rangy uh, indecision doji there yesterday for the first hour. I want to make sure I'm way above that. And so I've gone for an entry at 52.56. The stop loss is below the wave four low, which was posted yesterday. So we've got a, a 50 56 um, stop loss, giving us a massive risk to reward of 1 to 2.5 into our target zone here. Target's around about $58, something like that. So it's a really great risk to reward. This is why we can be a little bit more conservative with the entry. We're looking for this um, support from yesterday to hold, to consolidate, and then we get some bullish movement away from there. Break yesterday's high through the entry and we're, we're on for the fifth wave move there. Now, 
if it does break yesterday's low and goes further down today we just adjust the entry and the stop loss to be honest if we don't go too low and we stay in the green zone I'd probably leave the entry where it is because we've got a great risk to reward but let's just see how the session goes for, for now we've got the order on at 52.56 stop loss down at 50.56 and target around $58 so that's it for today have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow